Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Brandon with Campbell Fitness and today we're going to talk about tap water versus bottled water. So, pour yourself your favorite beverage, saddle on up and let's get wet. Now the reason I want to do this video today is oftentimes while I myself am enjoying a nice cold or maybe even sometimes room temperature glass of tap water straight from the faucet, I get a lot of looks, comments, stares, and a lot of concern if I dare ask somebody if they too would like a glass of tap water. Now I've heard every excuse under the sun about reasons why they try to avoid it from it being dirty, to smelling weird, to tasting weird, to having too much bacteria, too many chemicals, too many sea monkeys in some cases, whatever you can think of I've heard it before. And instead of getting in an argument and a debate with these people to kind of let them know my views and some of the research behind it, I typically just shake my head, smile, and walk away, only because it's not really worth it in my opinion. However, I thought it could make for an interesting video, so that's exactly what we're going to do today, if you haven't figured it out already. Now, it's important to note that this information I'm going to give you is really only pertinent to those in the United States, because if you're in a different country, then it might not really apply based off their rules and regulations. But if it's an area you're interested in, which I'm kind of assuming you are if you're watching this video, I highly encourage you to obviously go and do some own research if you're interested in this subject. Now I think the first thing that's important to point out with this when we talk about here in the States is that bottled water and tap water are run by two different entities. So the FDA under the Cosmetic Act really rules and regulates bottled water. Whereas with tap water or public drinking sources, you're looking at the EPA and something known as the Safe Water Drinking Act. Now both of these acts kind of go ahead and put certain numbers and protocols in place about how things are regulated, acceptable levels of other things in the water, and how often those things need to be tested. Now I think a real big claim here against tap or public drinking water is again the fact that it's dirty or not so clean. But if you were to look more into the numbers and rules and regulations behind these things, you would actually find that oftentimes when you compare the two, a lot of bottled waters actually wouldn't pass the EPA standards. And this is very important to point out because I think a lot of times, again, people are fooled by these fancy packages with you know expensive glass bottles of water or pictures of waterfalls, deers drinking from lakes, snowflakes, you know, uh, big icebergs, whatever you can think of. They fall for the marketing scheme behind it as well as the higher price tag associated with them and they just assume that it's better. Now, I would seriously hope if you're watching this video and you've watched my videos in the past, you know these scams are out there and you don't fall for them because all too often in the supplement industry, they try to pull the same things. They have this fancy marketing campaign with guys that are juiced out of their minds or girls in bikinis or you know shiny containers that say build muscle, lose fat, and sometimes people fall for these things. But if you did some research and looked at the ingredients and some of the other stuff behind them, you would find it's mostly junk, overpriced, and just filler. Now, these water companies kind of do the same thing. In fact, a lot of these water companies, as far as bottled water goes, will actually use public drinking sources as their source of water. And instead, what they do is they just put them through their own filtration process. But again, if you were to look at the rules and regulations of what's considered acceptable or not, you would find that the EPA is a lot more strict with the public drinking water than the FDA is with their water sources. So typically, you might actually find that tap water is of a higher quality. Now I know what you're thinking, that can't be the case. Well, there's plenty of research out there that you can compare numbers with, as well as plenty of research that where they do blind taste testing, where they take away the fancy packaging, they take away the expensive price tags, and test bunches of different water sources, bottled water, tap water, in those little two ounce Dixie cups, and they have people taste it in the rate which ones they like the best. And you would probably be really surprised to see that consistently, tap water outperforms a lot of these higher priced bottled options. Now there's been a lot of changes over the years in this and they're getting more strict. So a lot of these bottled water companies now have to disclose their actual source of water. So next time you pick up a nice bottle of water with this fancy name, with this nice pretty picture on the front, turn it around and actually see where it's bottled. In some of these cases that, you know, they're labeled that they come from a certain spring or whatever, you might find that the source could be the Detroit River. And for those of us here in the States, no offense to people in Detroit, but that's not exactly viewed as the cleanest water source out there. So you might really be interested in looking more into this. Now there are those out there who wanna avoid public drinking water because they think there's too many chemicals added into it. 
So for those of you unaware, the government will add in chlorine and fluoride to your public drinking sources. Now this isn't necessarily a bad thing, however, as it's a very small amount, again, that's regulated quite frequently, and it's actually added in to benefit you. So with the chlorine, it's put in there to kill bacteria, so to keep you healthier, whereas the fluoride is put in to help with tooth decay and other tooth issues, and since doing so, the amount of tooth decay in the United States and other measurable things have significantly gone down. So these things, again, are added in for your benefit. Now, I will say it's not all roses on the tap water side, as if you have old pipes coming into your house, you might find that the taste of the water is affected, or in some cases, you might find traces of lead in them. Or if you're drinking from something like a private well, you could have issues with that as well. But again, as a whole, public drinking water is strictly ruled and regulated over. Now, as far as bottled water goes, there's some things I don't really want to get too into, and that is the fact that a lot of people have issues with it with the recycling aspects of the bottling itself, as well as the chemicals that go into the bottling and BPA, I wanna focus on the water itself here and not the actual packaging that it comes in. Now, that being the case, I know I've painted tap water in a very favorable light, and it's not because I'm trying to say one is better than the other, but tap water gets a lot worse rap, and I want to let you guys know that it's completely okay to drink, and in some cases, you might find it's actually of a higher quality than the stuff that you're paying tons of money for. And that's another thing I'll touch upon briefly is the fact that bottled water is so overly expensive. You could look at paying 500 to 1,000% more for something that just comes in a bottle, whereas you're not getting necessarily that amount back in quality-wise. However, I do understand that for many of us, having a bottle of water or something like that, a thermos, is very convenient in the long run when we're on the go, and I completely understand that. In the end, water is great overall, but there's no real benefit to going the bottled water route, unless you're just a snob and you like to think you're better than people, and in which case, us in the know will just laugh at you because you probably just wasted a bunch of money. Either way, everybody, I appreciate you guys watching, and as always, stay big and hydrated, however you choose fit. Talk to you soon.